Right guys, welcome back. This video is going to look at a model essay for the cognitive approach. It's going to be a really quick one this time because I've only got one essay to show you. And the reason for that is because the cognitive approach at this moment in time has never come up in an exam since the change of the spec back in 2015. And so this is the only title that I have. It's a generic outline and evaluate essay, and it should give you everything that you need to go ahead and write an essay for the cognitive approach should it come up in an exam. OK, so just in case you're new to this, I'm going to start off with a brief overview of the plan so you can see what I want to do. And then we'll move on and we'll look at the full essay. Obviously, you can pause the video at any point to try and write the essay for yourself, which, of course, is great practice. And finally, before we get started, if you find this video useful, please let me know by hitting the like button. OK, so let's get started. So this is what we're going to do. In your outline, we're going to start by talking about the basic assumptions of the cognitive approach, which is the fact that internal mental processes can and should be studied. We're then going to move on and we're going to talk about how this generally happens through the use of inferences, because a lot of what happens can't be directly observed. We'll then explore the use of models like theoretical models and computer models, and we'll use an example to kind of highlight what it is we mean. OK, so in this case, we're going to use the multi-store model, but you could use any model. You could use the working memory model instead if you wanted to, or if you have some other theoretical or computer model that you want to talk about, that would also be fine. We're then going to finish on schema, what they are, why they're good, and also why they're bad. In your evaluation section, we're going to aim for four evaluation points. OK, but remember, you don't have to use four to get a good mark. So don't feel like you absolutely have to remember four. Three will also do the job just fine. OK, it's better to do less and to do them well than more and do them badly. So we're going to start with some practical applications of the cognitive approach. We'll use some examples of things like artificial intelligence, cognitive treatments for depression and the cognitive interview. OK, your examples are kind of up to you, so you could cut some of those out if you want and just go for one or two and then go into a little bit more detail using some of the stuff that you've learned over the last couple of years if you want. Um, or you can do all three and just go into a little bit less detail for each of them. Either of that is fine. We're then going to move on to another strength, which is the use of scientific methods, such as lab studies and the fact that the cognitive approach did a bit of a crossover with the biological approach with the emergence of cognitive neuroscience, which also adds scientific credibility to the approach. There is then a counterpoint to that, which is that many experiments use artificial stimuli, so their generalizability might be a bit low. And the fact that inferences are very often quite abstract and very often result in subjective interpretation of what's going on. OK, so that's a bit of a problem for the cognitive approach. And then finally, we're going to talk about machine reductionism and we're going to talk about how the cognitive approach ignores the impact of emotions on behavior. And then as part of that point, we'll probably refer to something like anxiety and eyewitness testimony and Johnson and Scott or something like that. OK, like I said before, if you want to have a go at writing the essay, then go ahead and pause the video now. And if not, then we'll move on and we'll have a look at the full thing. So here is the essay. You can see the outline in blue and you can see that I've not gone into a massive amount of detail on everything. I've put in bold the key terms and the elements of the outline so that you can see where they all are. Some of the elements get just a mention. Some of them get a little bit more detail. For example, schema gets quite a lot of detail, but things like theoretical models doesn't get as much. I don't even mention computer models, so I've just gone for a little bit of detail on that bit. OK, I've also left cognitive neuroscience out completely. I know that a lot of books put it in the outline, but you don't need it for a good, decent outline on the cognitive approach. OK, if cognitive neuroscience is going to come up, very often it comes up as an application or it's specifically asked for. OK, that being said, there's nothing wrong with putting it in an outline. So if you want to put it in an outline that you're going to write, then that's fine. Just make sure that you don't go off topic too much because you can lose marks for losing focus. OK, 
You can then also see my four evaluation points. But again, I'll just repeat myself. You don't have to have four, three or even two evaluation points will still get you a decent mark. OK, if you are going to get rid of an evaluation point, though, my suggestion would be to cut the counterpoint because that would still leave you with three full evaluation points. If you cut one of the others, then you'll end up with more like two and a half points rather than three points. OK, so if you do that, it might look something like this. OK, so you can see there I've taken my counterpoint out. And then you're just left with two strengths and one limitation. OK, I know that my essay was an outline and evaluate, but it's also worth mentioning at this point that it would work in exactly the same way for a discuss essay. As long as you've got some strengths, a little counterpoint, maybe or some limitations to go with it. And you're giving both sides of the argument. This would work as a discuss essay just as well. Right. And that brings us to the end of the video. Short and sharp, just like I said. I hope it's been useful in giving you an idea of what the cognitive approach could look like in a full 16 marker. Please remember to hit the like button if it has, and if you want to go and check out the rest of the model essay videos that I've got, you can find them linked in the description below or on your screen now or in the various playlists that I've made with them in. Okay, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.